All right, hello everybody. This is Andrew Perkowski checking in again from the fish room. And today's video is going to be an unboxing of fish from Select Aquatics. These fish came from Greg Sage, who is a live bearer legend. If you haven't heard of him, you haven't been to his website, go to selectaquatics.com. It's amazing. Um, he's been breeding these fish um, in a number of Gideon species for a long time. I first found his website about two years ago, maybe a little bit longer, and I emailed him for months and months before I even purchased my first fish. And he was always quick to respond, full of information, super nice guy. So, all right, let's get this whole thing going. All right, I got, got my scissors ready, and here is the box. All right, let's cut into this. All right, box cut open. In here we have note from Greg, talks about the order, some of the info about what we got here. And Greg is a pro when it comes to packing. Heat pack, where's the fish? All right, here's one, here's one. So Greg uses breather bags. So for that reason, I can't actually float these. I need to um, I need to open them, and then I'll have to do like a drip acclimation to get them uh, used to the water. So once again, if you get fish in a breather bag, do not float it. The fish will suffocate. Oh my gosh, it's hard doing this with one hand. So in here, get in focus, we have Amica Splendens. So if you guys watched my other videos, you know that I picked up a few Amicas at the, um, the last GCCA swap. And I also knew that I was going to be getting some more of these from Greg. And I figured there'll be a little bit of a mix to the bloodline. All of the Amica Splendens is known from two cl uh, collection locations, really, um, just a couple hundred meters apart. So they're all considered uh, the Rio Teochitlan Amica Splendens in the, the state of uh, Jalisco. All right, got all the bags out. Didn't think everybody wanted to sit and watch me struggle to open those things with one hand, but anyway. Um, looks like nine bags in total. There's one, one DOA, but Greg, he packs extra fish just to ensure that you get the amount that you paid for. So that's a really nice thing to do. Um, this, what I actually had gotten from him was a pair of sexed, uh, um, sexed fish. So it should have been a male and a female. Instead, he actually sent one male and two females. So here, let's take a look at the male. Alright, kind of difficult to see in the breather bag, but yeah, you can see he's got his notch. Um, how is his tail? Just the beginning of the coloration. He's still pretty young. Alright, here we have the fish in the bucket. Um, right now they are drip acclimating. And this is set up with uh, a piece of airline tubing. Suction cup one end into the tank use one of these little regulators to adjust the flow. Um, once you get the, the siphon going, then you adjust it so that the water is coming out of basically like a trickle. So let's see, oh it's a little long tube. There, so it's coming out nice and slow. Allows you to slowly acclimate the fish to your water. Um, helps with the temperature and everything. Uh, when fish come in a breeder bag, as these guys did, there's, for one, those membranes of the bag are semi-permeable so that oxygen can enter, but if you tried to float them, the fish will suffocate because the oxygen transfer is not going to be as fast when the bag is in water. So um, with the fact that there is no air in those bags, there's no additional oxygen to add. So, <laughs> all right, now the next thing to do is to add the fish. Um, these guys have been in the bucket for about an hour and a half now. 
there's a decent amount of the water from the tank in there. It's probably close to two thirds is now uh, my water. So I'm gonna pour all the fish into this net. I'm not gonna add any of the water that they came in, just in case. I don't know how different it is exactly, but you can never be too, too careful when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, so I'm gonna add the fish uh, by pouring the bucket through the net and then just adding the fish directly. So I think that'll be too difficult for me to film and do without uh, spilling stuff all over the floor. So, All right, here we go. All in the net, looking good. Seem to be reacting well to the water. So we'll set them free. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. Love it. All right, just move this out of the way a little bit. All right. So all of them are now in the tank. That male is beautiful. I love him. I'm sure he'll color up nicely. The numbers in here now <laughs> with the the seven new juveniles I I have three that I, that were in here originally, so I'm at one male, two females, and ten unsexed juveniles, which is just incredible. So hopefully they all do well, and we have a nice colony in here. I love the fact that they're different sizes. Um, I think that's going to help them to be a little bit more natural in their behaviors. Um, Oh man, I love it. One thing I'm gonna do though, once I stop the video, is I'm gonna turn the lights down real low for them. Um, um, I don't necessarily wanna have the lights off, but the lower light helps with the stress levels of, of newly acclimating fish. And you can see right now, they're swimming a little bit at the glass. They'll get used to the setup, and a lot of that helps with just leaving them a little bit in the dark for a bit. So anyway, um, Amica Splendens, Rio Teochitlan from Greg Sage, selectaquatics.com, that's the male, just incredible. Can't wait to see these guys grow up, just awesome, awesome. Always love this tank, a nice Rotala Indica that's growing out, if you've seen the videos over the last few months that was really small, these guys are part of my plant experiment the Lobelia cardinalis. It looks like the one without the uh, Eco Complete is actually growing a lot better. Much taller. The Crips, they've gone through some melts and then various hair algae issues, but I figure with the Amica in here, they will eventually pick at that. They're known to eat hair algae in, um, in the aquarium. They are a little bit more herbivorous than some of the other Gideids, but Anyway, they should do really well, hopefully keeping uh, the stuff clean. And I love it, love it. Wonderful day. Thanks again, Greg. The fish look amazing.